Hey, Felicia, thanks for uh, having me. And uh, you, what you just said, you said the words close call. Uh, I think that describes what happened in Tallahassee, Leon County today. Um, for the most part, we've not had any reports of structure damage to any other sites around town. We've been working closely with our dispatch agency, uh, monitoring all the calls that uh, our first responders have been going to. Uh, but what you were showing there, the pictures, yes, the uh, Tallahassee International Airport seems to be the place where the strongest impacts were felt. Uh, we do know that uh, it's been reported that several aircraft were uh, uh, damaged by the storm winds and the uh, Tallahassee Fire Department, which serves the, the airport there. Uh, they are on scene investigating. Uh, uh, and airport staff are doing damage assessments of the property there at the airport. And Kevin, have you gotten any reports of any um, injuries or anything of that nature? Uh, no, ma'am, no injuries reported uh, at this time. Uh, like I said, uh, close call, it appears. A uh, very strong storm came through uh, pretty much countywide, but um, Again, the airport seems to be the one place where it, it, it seemed to intensify the most, but I think we've been very fortunate with this close call. Yeah, definitely. Anytime you have a, a storm that close to such a major population center, you cross your fingers and you, you hope it turns out for the best. So in terms of moving forward, what are the next steps as you guys get out and survey this damage? Well, that's exactly what you said. Uh, we're, the rain is just starting to, uh, to let up here in, in Tallahassee. Uh, we're going to give a few more minutes, and we're going to get some folks out into the field and, and do some uh, uh, surveys of the areas that were under the uh, warned area and, and see if there are any damages that we may not be aware of yet. Obviously, it's, it's the work day. Uh, many people are at offices you know, in, in the Tallahassee proper. Uh, so some of those neighborhoods in the southern portions of the county, uh, people may just not be home. So we're going to get out and see if we can uh, uh, find anything that may not have been reported yet, uh, so we're going to go ahead and do that this afternoon. Uh, but like I said, we're not seeing any uh, reports uh, through computer-aided dispatch right now of any calls for any structural damage uh, at this time. So we feel very lucky. We feel like we've uh, you know dodged the bullet today.